Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. I said a couple of minutes ago it was overcast. From the looks of things, it looks like it's clearing up a little bit. Yeah, it looks like it. It's kind of hit or miss. I think there's more clouds south, more sun north. But we've got a lot of sun in the forecast. Not quite tomorrow, but Sunday. You'll come in on Monday, I think, and say, wow. Sunday was a, a gem. We'll take a look at what's going on right now. This is the Plattsburgh cam, so a little bit of a different spot than where Carolyn was, but the sun is shining there. Notice the trees mostly still green, but it won't be long before we start zooming the camera in to see some red leaves. 75 at Plattsburgh International, dew point at 64, so there's a little bit of stickiness in the air. But you know what that means? It means it won't be as cool at night, so maybe you don't need the light jacket tonight. Could be good news on that front. 75 in Malone, Potsdam is at 78 right now. And the Upper Valley, see how it's a little bit cooler down south? That's because there's a little bit more cloud cover in southern parts of our region. But the dew points are elevated even way up into Canada. So uh, as we get deeper into September, we usually don't see this. Usually it's drier air, but that is not the case tonight and tomorrow. But it is a cold front that's on the way in. So a few showers for Saturday. I wouldn't cancel any plans. Just know there may be a little shower that comes through for like 20 minutes tomorrow and then it'll be dry. Sunday, the sun is out. Sunday looks like a super clear day with not a cloud in the sky and it actually stays mild into next week. So here's storm tracker. We have uh, what we call the visible satellite on. So when the sun gets lower in the sky, it's a little harder to see the clouds, but you can see they're there, especially down towards southern New Hampshire, southern Vermont. But this is our cold front. Where's the rain? Well, there isn't any right now, so it's not a really big chance for rain tomorrow. Just a few showers uh, sprinkled along that line as it moves through. We'll show you here on Futurecast. This is tomorrow morning, even early on, some clouds, some showers, but there will be breaks of sun as tomorrow wears along. And then as we go into the afternoon and evening, same deal. It's kind of a slow mover. So 7 p.m., there could still be a shower to the south. Here's the sunshine, though. The Futurecast is not broken. It just doesn't have any clouds on it there for later Sunday. Just a tremendous second half of the weekend. And to illustrate tomorrow's rain potential, notice how there's a lot of zeros on the map. So it's hit or miss in the rainfall department. And that's why I'm not super concerned about outdoor plans tomorrow, hikes or whatever it may be. By Sunday, the humidity is gone. That's the other thing behind the front. It dries out. It clears out but it turns very comfortable. The humidity will be totally gone for Sunday and it stays warm. I mean, Sunday is a little cooler, but overall we're warm into next week, even an 80 there for Tuesday. So we're not quite flipping the switch to fall uh, just yet. 66 the low in Burlington, 50s in the Tri Lakes. Dry tonight. I think the showers arrive about sunrise tomorrow and go through much of the day, the chance at least. So it will be a little cooler north and west behind the front. It's a weak one though, 72 the high in Messina. And for southern Vermont, still 80 in Rockingham. So there's that bright sunshine on Sunday, 70, 76 on Monday, 80 by Tuesday. The first official day of fall, at least on the calendar, is Wednesday. It still feels like summer then, but after Wednesday, it looks like some showers Thursday. That's a more potent cold front that'll cool us off going into the second part of next week. Alice?